Hello students. So after completing the first type where we have seen how to solve the higher order differential equation where right hand side of the equation is equal to zero. Now let's move to the next topic where we'll see how to solve the equation when right hand side is e to the power ax or I would say the exponential term. So whenever we have right hand side as e to the power ax, there is a particular method to solve it. So let's see in this video and let's understand how to apply this method in the numerical. So now guys here, we are going to find out the solution of a higher order differential equation or linear differential equation when the right hand side is e to the power x. So for this I have taken an example. So can you see here, there is the higher order differential equation with right hand side of the equation as exponential term which is e to the power 2x. So to solve such type of questions we use this method. So first of all what we'll do is we'll list down the steps which are required to solve such type of numericals and then I will apply those steps on this question to get the solution. So what is step number one? So step number one is we have to find out the complementary function. See, in the last video, I have told you that whenever you want to find out the solution of higher order differential equation, that solution is divided into two parts. So, one part is called as complementary function and the other part is called as particular integral. So, whenever we get any differential equation, that time will always start with the complementary function. So we'll find out the complementary function first. So here I'll say find yc because here we are saying that complementary function as yc and the particular integral as yp. So to find out yc, we are going to take help of auxiliary equation that is the function of d equal to 0. So we are going to uh, equate that f of d which we get from the differential equation to 0. And then we'll solve that auxiliary equation and we'll find out the roots. So and after finding the roots, we will use one of the five methods which we have seen in the previous video to find yc. So guys, if you don't know how to find out the yc, then you have to go back. In my previous video where I've covered how to find a complementary function or the solution of the given higher order differential equation. So there I've covered five different types to find out the yc. So based on the auxiliary equation we are going to use one of the type. Then after getting the yc we are going to find out the particular integral which is called as yp. So here how to find out the yp. So again in the previous video I've shown you the formula to find out the yp. So I'll write that write down that formula over here. So so there we have seen the formula to find out a particular integral that is nothing but one upon the function of d into the right hand side. Now since we are in a type where right hand side is e to the power ax, I have directly written it as e to the power ax. Now the question is how to find out the particular integral. So guys, there is a rule to find out the particular integral in this case. So the rule is like this, we have to substitute d equal to a in f of d or in function of d and then we will get the particular integral. So here the solution would be so when you substitute d equal to a in this function of d this becomes f of a or function of a and this e to the power ax will remain as it and guys this is the answer or the solution of particular integral. Now guys there is one catch 
what if this denominator f of a is 0 and we must be thinking how would we get this f of a as 0 so just imagine that in f of b you have one term as d minus a so that time you will substitute d as a so that will become a minus a so a minus a becomes 0 and guys if denominator becomes 0 your answer becomes infinity and we can't have particular integral as infinity so whenever that denominator becomes 0 or it is 0 that time what we do is we find out derivative of that f of d so it means we are going to find out the f dash of d so guys just remember that this is the particular integral formula but if that f of a is becoming zero that time we do not accept this solution we find out the derivative so we will get yp as so here i'll write down if f of a is zero so in that case we will get yp as derivative of this would be f dash of t then here in the numerator we'll add x and e to the power ax will remain as it is so you have to remember one thing that whenever we find derivative in the numerator you have to write down one term that is x which was not there previously so now to get the yp again we'll follow the same process that is we'll substitute d equal to a in f of d so this is the value of i mean in f dash of d because here we got the derivative so here the value of f dash of d whatever it is we have to put d equal to a so guys therefore we will get solution that is yp as x by f dash of a into e to the power ax now this is the value of particular integral but again the same question what if that f dash of a is also equal to zero so if it is zero answer will become infinity and we don't want answer as infinity so guys this time we again have to find out one more derivative so we'll find out the derivative of f dash of d which is f double dash of d and in that we will put d equal to a so in the denominator we will get f double dash of a but at the same time what we'll do is here with x we'll write one more x so that will become x square by two factors so guys there is one general formula that we follow every time which is nothing but x to the power r upon r factorial so let's say if you are differentiating that f of d two times you will be having x square because here i'll show you the formula it is x to the power r upon r factorial so here I have, deriv I have found the derivative of this f of d for the first time so as since it was the first derivative this will become x to the power 1 upon 1 factorial 1 factorial is 1 that is I have not written here and x to the power 1 here I have written but since I am finding derivative once again so that will be the second derivative and that is why I will get x square upon 2 factorial so now I will say if f dash of a is equal to 0 then yp is x square by 2 factorial so this is term which i was talking about into 1 upon f double dash of d so that is a derivative into e to the power ax now in this we'll put d equal to a again the same rule so we will get value of yp as x square by 2 factorial into 1 upon f double dash of a into e to the power ax so this is the solution and guys again it goes on if f double dash of a is also 0 so you have to find out a third derivative that time this coefficient would be x cubed by 3 factorial and so on so uh, most probably in second or third derivative you would get the answer or in few numericals in the first derivative itself you get the answer so this is the process to find out the value of yp so guys here we got yc that is the complementary function we got particular integral and now it's time to find out the final solution so here that is the last step step number three we will say the complete solution y 
is equal to yc plus yp. So whatever is the value of yc and yp that we got in the previous step, we are going to copy down those values and we are going to put those values here to get the final solution. So this is a process to solve the higher order differential equation when the right hand side is exponential function. So I'm sure that you understood this video. And guys, if you want to learn more videos on engineering mathematics, then you have to subscribe to ekin.com because that is the only way to get updates about the latest video that we are posting on ekin.com. And do not forget to share this video with your engineering friends because if they watch this video, then they can also get good score like you. So I hope that you'll watch next video because in the next video, I'm going to uh, solve the numerical which is based on this concept. Thank you very much.